Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and today I wanted to share with you the results of my comic haul uh, from Walmart, um, as well as uh, some cards. I got a bunch of cards from the, the boxes, so it's basically a, a Walmart haul unboxing. Um, yeah, I got a bunch of comics, uh, the Walmart 3-packs, a uh, bunch of trading cards. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, the everyday non-expert here, and today I wanted to go over with you my Walmart haul where I got the a few of the Walmart 3-packs of the Marvel Comics, as well as a bunch of trading cards. Uh, I I know my, my channel doesn't do many of these, and a lot of the unboxings don't get uh, much traction, so I'm going to do the comics first. And then I'm going to do kind of an outro, you guys can go if you want, and then I'll get into the sports cards. So, just without further ado, let's get started. Okay everybody, thanks again for stopping by, and I am doing a little something different with the mic, a different position, so let me know uh, if the audio is okay with it, if while I'm editing it, it doesn't sound great then I'm just gonna use my phone audio and that'll just be what it is for this video and I will know going forward so also before I get started I did want to mention that I do have my PayPal and my Venmo down in the description below if you wanted to support me so that I could get some better recording equipment and editing software things like that also you know some more money to go towards some of these packs and stuff there were so many but i can only grab so much because you know it's on my own dime there were a whole box of these people were grabbing whole boxes like some guy grabbed a whole box of these boosters that are 60 dollars and they were there were probably like 15 in there and i'm just like that cool i'm not obviously asking for that much money but like wouldn't that be awesome to be able to just grab that you gotta get some like really good cards out of that so anyways we're gonna see what we got out of there or uh, out of um i got a couple different packs only like three or four of various kinds and then um i do have the prices on here so um i this is my third time recording this video uh the first time the energy just wasn't right and i wanted to have the pricings for you and the second time because i had the prices it, i feel like it was a little too much commentary it was almost a half an hour so i'm just gonna fly through this and i'm gonna put uh the price up on here um if that doesn't take too long editing and otherwise i'll probably just do it for books and and cards that i think are worth it so um, yeah, first off, like I said, I'm going to do the comics first, and then I'll get into the cards. Um, let me get to my list. I'll actually say the comics, but the cards are just too many. So, first off, we uh, out of the Walmart pack, uh, I have a non-stop Spider-Man number 5, and this is like a $2 book. And then, um, I got two of the Star Wars High Republic Trail of Shadows number 2. These are about $5 a piece, so just uh the those were the ones that were the cover and this one was also the cover of the pack and it was a uh, kate bishop hawkeye number one walmart variant and this one clocks in at 15 dollars so that's 25 dollars right there the three uh th three three packs were eight dollars a piece so just from the the three books that were the cover i made my money back and then everything else is just you know pure profit from there so then after that was Legends, Black Panther, number one, a three dollar book. Uh, Crimson Rain, number one, three dollar book. Spirit Rider, number one, second print, three dollar book. Dark Hawk, number one, second print. These were actually both in the, the Star Wars High Republic ones. Um, and those are three dollars a pop. And then this one is uh, Alien, number eight, by Marvel Comics, not Dark Horse. Uh, this is number, f uh, that's a $4 book. And then Onslaught Revelation is a $5 book. And Venom number two, it's like a $1, $2 book. There were a few other books. If anything else was in there and it was a $1 book, I didn't put in there. Just like these cards, the lowest it has to be, it can be is a $2 book or $2 card. So, um, let me put those aside. 
And if you were just here for the comics, thanks for stopping by. You're done. You can bail. <laughs> but before you go, please click that thumbs up button to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel to see more great content like this. And comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this video. And also, um, uh, check out my PayPal and Venmo if you feel so inclined. I, I did also want to mention that I know I'm behind on like a video or two. Um, and... I didn't do my FOC order, and I don't know if it's worth it to do it now that FOC was over today. Um, and, uh, but the times that I recorded those video would have recorded those, I tried to record this one, and I was hoping that it was going to be it, and then I could maybe record the FOC one now. But I do have another video that I actually recorded right after I did one version of these, and that's my top five FOC. Uh, not 5 FOC, my top 5, yeah, it's either my top 5 FOC or my top 5 for this week, I think it's my top 5 for this week, you're going to want to make sure that you get, um, where there's a lot of spec out there, and um, you're not, like, it could be this, it could be that, there's all these, like, maybe, you don't, like, yeah, there's these first appearances, but are they going to be hot, but this, these 5, I mean, I really don't see how they're not going to be hot, um, but anyway, I'll get more into that in that video. You can check that one out. So now let's check out. Um, I got a, a couple. I got NBA hoops. I got uh, illusions packs for the NFL, um, and I got the wild card mat packs for the NFL as well. Um, I'm gonna start things off with um, Lamelo Ball and another Lamelo Ball and another Lamelo Ball. So those are pretty cool. And then um, this one is an NBA uh, hoop, Clay Thompson, Buckets and Chill. This one's probably, let me see. I think this one is the, the, the best card that I pulled. It's a Chris Duarte um, Rise and Shine with a patch. Sorry, I want to put these face down so that they're in the same order. All right. Oh, also, what do you guys think of these Ultra Pro? This is all they had in stock, and I knew I needed more. Um, all my other ones are on my more expensive Pokemon cards, and I didn't want to... Maybe there's like two or three cards in here that would be worth taking off of there and putting onto here. But I wanted them all to sort of be uniform, and the Ultra Pros is kind of what I see a lot of people use on um, like break bo box breaks and stuff. So... I don't know. What do you guys think of these? Or did you do you like those other ones? The other like smaller, harder ones better. I like the smaller, harder ones better. I don't really like these all that much. But uh, anyway, so uh, here we have a, a Jason Kidd uh, slam, and we have a si Sky View CJ McCollum. I got a couple Sky Views in a row here. I'm not gonna sell this one, even though it's probably going for like four bucks. Uh, this is a Sky View Devin Booker. And this is for 2021, the 2021-2022 season. So, who knows? Suns could make it back and win it all this year. This one's not even in a top loader. It's Kyrie Irving. I just wanted to keep all the Skyview together. And that one's worth like 50 cents. Joel Embiid, this one is also very low. I think it's like a $2 one. Here's, we're getting into my rookies. And we have Miles McBride. And Scotty Barnes. Josh Giddy, this one is a decent one. This, yeah, he's a, I think an eight dollar book, and then the Scotty Barnes, I think, or <laughs> card, and I think Scotty Barnes was seven, and then Joshua Primo, this one's a five. Evan Mobley, this one's a five. I got a whole bunch of other Evan Mobley cards that may put together and sell as a set, and then Jonathan Kaminga. And this one, I thought it was going to be worth more, but it's not. Um, a job more on with a blue border. Next up, I have uh, an arrival now, arriving now, Jalen Johnson. I'm kind of disappointed in how low that one is. This one is the one that's a real disappointment. Zari Williams, class of 2021. I don't know, is this guy a disappointment in the NBA? Uh, ben Simmons, this is uh, Frequent Flyers. This is probably one of my favorite cards. These are probably like 2 to $5 or something like that, but I just really like that. And then Keon Johnson arriving now. 
Steph Curry, Pure Players. This is like a $2 card. This one's okay. Kevin Durant, Frequent Flyers. This one is like a $2 card, but I have a couple other cards of his. One's, I think, 10 the other one's $25. Um, so I think I could end up getting a decent amount of money for this guy. All right, that's it for the NBA. So if you're over, if you're not interested in football trading cards, then go ahead and again, click that thumbs up button, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel to see more content, and comment down below. Let me know what you thought about my uh, wall. I was like comment Walmart comic and sports card haul, and let's get into uh, football. So first we have a nice Devonta Smith. This, these are the wild card mats. This is the, the explode version with a green parallel. This is Javante Williams, who, uh, you know, towards the middle of the season, I thought he was going to do a lot better. But then uh, Melvin Gordon just kind of proved that, you know, that he is who he is um, and took that that spot back. Trevon Morig, even if they were splitting 50-50, Melvin Gordon was getting the two touchdowns, the lofty yardage, things like that. Um, and then I got a couple of Sante Samuel Juniors right here. We got a purple parallel and a, a gold parallel. And right here, this one is going to be, in about a week, this one could be worth a lot more or it could be worth a lot less. And this is uh, Matthew Stafford from the Illusions box. And I wanted to keep, I had that one up here. The Illusions are towards the back, but I wanted to put him near this one. Mac Jones, you should have a couple good quarterbacks next to each other. And then Jalen Waddle. These are regular. Those are the other ones are the explode. And I have a couple weekend warriors coming up. I'm not too happy with who they are, but you'll see. Amari Rogers. These alone are going for two bucks. So these are the base, and they're going for two bucks. And then other base are going for fifty to a dollar fifty. Fifty cents to a dollar fifty. Um, so you're easily gonna get your money back if you can get these. I haven't had a mat where I haven't been able or I haven't gotten enough cards to make my money back. Um I've been kind of bad about putting those up on eBay or in groups, so I've been sitting on a lot of those mat cards right now. Um, so if you're interested, hit me up. But uh, you know, so I need to get those to get that money back. Here's a nice Patrick Mahomes. These are the illusions starting now. Um, these are all base, but they're going for a couple bucks at least. Justin Jefferson, even Russell Wilson is doing well. And then this last one is the most confusing one. Um, I have Ramondre Stevenson, but this uh, bronze one, I saw someone put in here that it's a gold edition. This is not the gold edition. This is the bronze edition. Um, and the gold edition, the writing is in gold. And the, someone bought it. Like It's a deal or like a best ex offer. Ex Okay, everyone, so it looks like my phone ran out of storage um, in the middle and it cut out. So, um, I'll just, you know, that um, Ramondre Stevenson wasn't that important. It was just that someone had listed that bronze as gold and um, they got more for it, but the gold is actually the text on it. So, anyway... I don't know what I'm going to that one. I looked, actually put bronze. Um, it um, didn't show up. It, as, it showed up as like a two, three dollar book. Um, but I just want to go ahead and show you these four items. I got my money back uh, on what I spent. So. All those other cards, that's pure profit. Um, I mean, like, a couple of these cards alone are worth what the whole packs were. And then those easily covered the the cost of the books, the all three packs. So, um, you know, uh, I gotta just say one more time, I got the PayPal Venmo thing. I wasn't gonna mention it again, but the iPhone running out of storage is just so frustrating. Um the way I'm doing videos now, it's, it, it, you know, it's still fun, but it's getting more and more frustrating to do these ones where I record it. Let me know. Do you like these? Would you prefer if I did it live? Let me know in the comments down below. 
I'm not going to do all the other stuff. I'll just let you guys go. Thanks again for checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.